Oké, okay, here we have it folks. Um, one electricity meter. And I'm shining a little LED over there. That's a infrared LED. And it's shining onto the wheel in there. And every once in a while that wheel will display a black spot. Oop, there it went. Yeah, from the other side. Wait for it. Almost. And there it goes. So that LED shines the infrared and in this tube aimed somewhat at that disk is a photo transistor which is detecting the infrared not only the infrared from the LED but also the infrared from this light over here so hook that up the photo detector I mean to this spiffy circuit there is an operational amplifier in there there is a potentiometer that will give off a reference voltage which is currently 3.35 volts the voltage that comes back from the phototransistor is above that and here is my new oscilloscope showing that let's see um, that white line is the cursor and it is currently at 3.56 volts and when you drop it to 3.35 you can see where the trigger voltage is and that's one drop in the voltage caused by the black spot in the disk and the yellow line gives you the output from my operational amplifier my op amp Poof, there it goes. Nice square. So the drop in the blue line is approximately 1 volt. And the difference between, I don't know, the average voltage here and my trigger is almost 350 milliam uh, volts. Now, watch how my light here influences the voltage as read by the photodetector. Here you have it. Can you see that? No, it's the reflection. Okay, here we go. That's above the white line. Now I'm closing the door and it oops, goes all the way down. It goes so far down that my trigger needs to be much much lower. Let's see how much lower I should make it. This should be a nice trigger voltage. It says 2.72. So I'm going to adjust this pop meter until this says 3.72. how much? 2.72 Rick. Oop. Yeah, nice. And there it is. Kill this light and you can see it in all its glory. Now, why did the blue line drop so much in, uh, compared to the previous experiment? I think I know. And it probably has to do with me readjusting that little tube over there or the infrared LED maybe I squeezed it I don't know and re-aimed it at something that I shouldn't have aimed it at so oops switch off the light close the door whoa big difference so, lessons learned, clean up your optical signal before you start cleaning up your electrical signal. Uh, let's 
see now, uh, this should probably be 3.35 again. Re 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 readjusting. Oops. And cleaning up the optical signal in this case means isolating it. I should cover up that little uh, window on my meter completely so that no stray infrared can come near it. It also means that I need to affix that little tube permanently so that it won't wiggle anymore. And also the same is true for the infrared LED emitting the light onto the disc. And wouldn't it be awesome if I somehow found a way to make that trigger voltage, that reference voltage automatic. I'm thinking like a huge capacitor with a diode and the capacitor would um, hold on to the voltage, the average voltage in between dips. And the, uh, one dip shouldn't uh, influence that, that, that reference voltage too much but if I'm putting in uh, one voltage drop of not, not 0.7 volts I should probably also add it to the actually uh, the data line so to speak so that they both drop the same amount of volts back to the drawing board again or to the breadboard and just tweak it until it works uh, there's your circuit and there's the device that made it all possible to debug I like it, it's my scope bye bye